Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. So it's time for another update on Maya 2022 and today we're going to be looking at the Animation Slider Bookmark Manager and uh, there's a pretty cool new thing there so check it out. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video in the Maya 2022. Um, we're going to be talking about something that's relevant for uh, all animators out there. And we're going to be talking about two new additions or updates or features uh, added on to the animation um, the slider, the bookmark manager to be specific, right? So in order for me to show you, I'm going to uh, load up a mocap model and um, yeah, then we're going to go from there. Here we go. So here's our model. Uh, let's put in a dance floor because our model is dancing and it's actually a break dance that's going on there. So if we hit play, there you go. And you can clearly see that this is mocap, yeah. Okay, so now that we have our animation, if we select uh, the character, you can see all our keyframes down here, right? Okay. So what I want to do is identify a certain section of this dance that I want to bookmark. So I'm going to slowly scrub through this and let me just get a bit closer as so you can see it. Okay, so I'm scrubbing through this and at some point the character is going to start a turn, right? Which is about here, right there. Yeah, okay. So I want to bookmark that. So let's set this to, let's say frame 45, and then there's the turn. And pretty much here, the turn is complete, right? So let's say 45 to 75. That's what I want to bookmark, okay? All right, so how do I do that? Well, I'm gonna to go to the bookmark manager tag here, this orange little flag thingy with a plus key. Click on it and it's gonna ask me for a color. I don't know, let's do green, double click on that. Let's call this a turn, yeah. Now it's gonna ask me, okay, what frame to what frame? So uh, 45 to 75 and hit create. Boom, there you go. So this green section right here indicates that turn. Now that should make sense, so let's see, and turn, there you go, all right. Cool. Now, nothing new so far. This has been around for a while. Uh, however, um, Autodesk has changed or updated two things that uh, will make your life a lot easier. First of all, let's say I miscalculated my bookmark. I started too soon and actually the turn starts, I don't know, at 50 or whatnot, yeah? So what I can do is I can hold in the control key and my mouse will turn into a plus sign and then I can click on it and I can drag it and move it over to frame 50 if I want, yeah? Um, if I then hit play, let's see, and boom, All right. Okay, so that's what you can do. Now that's pretty neat, but what is way, way cooler is this. What if um, I want to slow down um, the start of the turn, okay? So what I can do here is I can control double click now in this case i got a whole bunch of keyframes afterwards here but let's say that's not the case let's say i want to move these keyframes over to the right okay so i can hold a control double click and then i select all the keyframes underneath my bookmark and as you see it's all selected right now all the keyframes here right so i can click it and drag it and of course, because I have a whole bunch of keyframes to the right here, I'm messing up my animation, but I just want to prove to you that it works, right? So this is now my new setup. So let me look at the messed up animation. Here we go. So it's slowing down before it starts that move. Okay, so that's all there's to it, guys. Uh, short and sweet, uh, but nevertheless, I think if you are an animator, you will really love this. So uh, have fun, enjoy, and let me know in the comments what you think about this new feature. Okay, bye.